Hello and welcome. Exercise 20D. This is actually an introductory video on exercise 20D and we we'll learn about circle. We we'll learn definition of a circle, radius of a circle, the definition of diameter of a circle, chord of a circle and perimeter of a circle and area of a circle. And finally we will solve the problems from exercise 20D and that we will do in the next video only. Now what is a circle? A circle is a simple closed curve. It is a closed curve such that all the points of the curve are equidistant from a given point. This O is the given point and this closed curve is equidistant from the given point O. Point B is at a distance from point O. Similarly point C is on the closed curve and D is also on the closed curve. All these distances OD, OB, OC are equal. That means the curve is equidistant from point O or if we take any point in the curve then we will get the same distance. And this distance is represented by small letter R and this stands for the radius of the circle. So this is this equal distance is called the radius of the circle and this point the given point from which the distance is measured is called the center of the circle. A circle is also defined as a curve better to say a closed curve traced out by a point that moves in a plane so that its distance from a given point is always constant. A is a point at a distance of R from the point O. Now if the point A moves, keeping this distance constant, the trace of the point A will form a curve and if it is a closed curve, then that will be called the circle. So this is the trace of the point A maintaining a distance of R from the given point O. And if it is a closed curve, then this will be called a circle. And this trace, the complete trace of the point A is called the circumference of the circle. So this is the center, this is the radius, and this is the circumference of the circle. The curve of a circle is defined as a line segment joining two points on the circumference of the circle or on the circle. Point A and B are on the circle and the line segment AB is called the chord. Chord of a circle is a line segment joining two points. Now if I change the point B, keeping the point A fixed, then you can see we get different lengths of the chord and the length changes with the change in position of the B and at this position this is the longest chord of the circle. You can see this is the longest chord, 8 unit long. If I change the position of the B, then again the length of the chord will change. The longest chord passes through the center of the circle, center O of the circle. And the longest chord that passes through the center of the circle is called the diameter of the circle or the chord passing through the center of the circle is called the diameter of the circle and diameter of the circle is the longest chord of the circle. So these are some points on the circle. Now here you can see these are the distances of the closed curve from the center of the circle and they are called the radius. And even OB is also radius and OA is also radius but AB is equal to the diameter of the circle and this is equal to twice the radius of the circle or you can say radius is equal to half of the diameter of the circle. Now the magic number pi. Pi is defined as the ratio of circumference of the circle to the diameter of the circle. 
so pi is equal to circumference of the circle divided by diameter d of the circle now why is pi a magic number whatever be the size of the circle the ratio is always constant and that is equal to pi the ratio circumference divided by diameter of the circle remain equal to constant and that constant is pi and the value of pi is approximately is equal to 22 divided by 7 that exactly not equal to 22 divided by 7 but approximately is equal to 22 divided by 7 uh, pi is an irrational number it is infinite non-recurring decimal and whereas 22 by 7 is a rational number and it is recurring the greek letter pi was introduced in 1706 to represent this constant ratio pi has mesmerized mathematicians for 4000 years pi is used in many basic calculations in geometry in physics and engineering including area of a circle and volume of a cylinder you all know that pi day is celebrated all over the world and it is celebrated on 14th of mars around the world you see 14th of mars means 3 is the number of month and 14 is the number of days and value of pi is 3.14 correct to two decimal places now if pi is equal to circumference divided by d the diameter of the circle we can also write this is equal to pi divided by 1 in fraction form it remains pi and if we do the cross multiplication then what we get the circumference of this circle is equal to pi multiplied by d and this is the circumference of the circle and if we put d is equal to twice r then circumference is equal to twice pi r now about area area of a circle is equal to pi r square and this we can also write pi multiplied by r square r is equal to half of d whole square and that is equal to pi d square divided by 4 so area is equal to pi r square and where r is the radius of the circle this is the center of the circle center o so what we have learned a circle has a center all the points of the circle are equidistant from the center a chord is a line segment joining two points of the circle and diameter is the longest chord of the circle and this chord passes through the center of the circle the magic number pi is a constant and is equal to the ratio of circumference to the diameter of the circle and radius is equal to half of diameter and pi is an irrational number and its value is 3.1415 etc etc and it is an irrational it is infinite non-recurring decimal whereas 22 by 7 is the approximate value of pi and which is a rational number and this is a recurring decimal so thank you for watching in the next video we'll solve all the problems from chapter 20d thank you